I'm Laura and welcome to class today. Today we're going to focus on a release for the shoulders and for the upper back. It's great if we tend to sit and stoop, we all do it at some point during the day, so it's going to be really good to open up the chest, uh, open the chest, lift it and improve our posture. So helping through any discomfort that we might get around this area, especially if we do this regularly. So as always, check into your body, look after your own body as we go through and we're going to get started. So before we do move, we're just going to check into a few things that we might need as we go through. So the first thing is going to be is some sort of ball. I have a spiky massage ball. It doesn't have to be spiky. You can use a tennis ball that you might have at home or you can roll up um, some socks to use. Okay. Another thing that we are going to use are some dumbbells. So if you've got really small dumbbells at home, you can use them. Any um, tins that you might have, so beans, um, soup, anything at all, you can use them as well, or even small bottles of water. And then what we're gonna use is a foam roller. Mine is um, one with the notches on. You don't have to use one with notches on. It can be straight. You can also use a really densely rolled up towel for the class or even an overball if you do have one of those. Okay, so we don't need anything to begin with. We're gonna start sitting. So choose a position that's comfortable for your knees and your hips. And wherever you are, you want to check that you sat right up on your two sitting bones. And this means then that we're able to bring our pelvis into neutral. So what we wanna check is that our two pelvic bones and our pubic bone are level to the wall in front. So that triangle that those four bones create is parallel to the ground. If you feel tight in the hip flexors, this would be um, when you can sit up on something. So the towel that you might have, or if you've got a sitting block at home, then grab it. So once we're there, feel the spine elongate. So lift the crown of the head up to the ceiling and let your shoulders relax down away from your ears. And just place your hands around about where your knees are or just anywhere on your thighs. And we're just gonna take a moment by lifting the shoulders up on your in-breath and then exhaling to drop the shoulder blades down. So elevating the shoulders, the shoulder blades slide up the rib cage, and then exhaling, depressing the shoulders, the shoulder blades slide down. And we want to exaggerate the downwards feeling. So feeling how the crown of the head lifts taller each time the shoulders drop down. And we're just gonna do one more of these. And I want you to keep your shoulders down and feel the connection that your back muscles have of your shoulder blades drawing them down. And we're going to look over our right shoulder, keeping our shoulders square and still, bring our head back to centre and then turn and look over the opposite shoulder. So trying to feel that sense of growing through the spine. As we move, we're breathing. So we're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And as we're moving the neck, the head, just start to connect with the deep abdominal muscles. So you're gently drawing the navel towards the spine and you're lifting the pelvic floor up between the inner thighs. Coming back to centre with your head and your neck, we're going to take a little bit of a stretch for your shoulder. So take your right hand to your lower back. Drop the shoulder blade down again and then think of drawing the elbow towards the wall behind you. What you want to feel is that we're getting a stretch at the cross, across the chest and around the front of your shoulder and around the side of your shoulder. This might be enough. Or take the other hand, grab hold of the elbow area and what you want to do is gently press back with your elbow, but gently resist that push back of your elbow by gently pulling with your hand. At the same time, keep depressing and dropping your shoulder blade down. This is going to give us that stretch around the shoulder joint. So I'm still trying to lift up through the crown of my head, making sure that my pelvis is in neutral because alignment and posture is really important. And we're just going to take two more deep breaths, feeling the breath into the back and the sides of the rib cage. Just letting that muscle release on your out breath and then letting the arms go and just let them rest at the sides of you. And just notice, recognize if there feels a difference between your shoulders and we'll do the same on the other side. So left hand behind the back. So the back of my hand is on my lower back, my palm is facing behind me. Draw the elbow back, the shoulder blade down, and we can stay here or take a hold. So drawing back with the elbow, and if you've got the hand, you're gently drawing forwards with the hand. 
And each out breath that you do, we drop the shoulder blades further down, feel the head lift up, the skull almost try and lift off your cervical spine, your neck. And we're just checking that the knees, the hips are staying as relaxed as possible. So this is definitely my tighter shoulder, feeling a difference. So two more breaths here. And then any stretching that we do, breathing really does help to let go of the muscles naturally deepen into the stretch so last breath and once you finish your out breath release the arms just take a shrug of your shoulders roll them back and down and we're going to come into our second stretch so if you take hold of one of your weights or your cans whatever you may have and you're going to reach it up to the ceiling now support your elbow with the opposite hand and then slowly bend the elbow so that the weight comes behind your shoulder Mine's kind of between my shoulder blade and between my spine on that muscly part. Now we're gonna take a breath in. I'm trying to keep my front ribs closed rather than arching my back and lifting them. And as I breathe out, I'm just encouraging my elbow and all this skin at the front of my arm or the side of my arm to lift up to the ceiling. And I might feel how the weight draws further down my back. And you can take hold of via the front or you can grab at the back. So just taking an in-breath, lengthening up with the elbow and the outer arm, thinking of lengthening through your tricep and then exhaling, letting the weight drop down your arm a little. Now you can stay with that. Another thing I like to do here is trying to encourage the shoulder blade to come around the front of the rib cage, almost underneath the armpit. So I like to manipulate the muscles around this area and the shoulder blade to try and get a little bit more movement from my shoulder. To come out, we're going to support the elbow again, gently lift the weight up and then lower the arm down and do the same on the other side, just give that shoulder a roll. So we lift up with the arm, support the elbow, release the weight back. Now because this is my tighter shoulder on this side, I have to really connect with my abdominal muscles to control where my rib cage is so that I'm not arching my upper back. Remember, I want to release these muscles rather than overwork them. So we're trying to let go of the back muscles, the spinal extensors, we're trying to feel the stabilizing muscles. So lengthening up with the elbow, the tricep, down with the shoulder blade, let the weight do some of the work. Hold where feels good. Trying to let go of the neck, so making sure that we've not got tension in the neck area. And maybe finding that manipulation of the muscles, drawing the shoulder blade forwards as well. And I think of the elbow going back as I do that. We're just going to do one more breath here, whichever option you're doing. And then supporting the elbow, reaching up and releasing down. Just pop your weight all the way to the side. Now just taking that gentle roll back of your shoulders again. We're going to make our way down to the ground. So if you bring your feet to the bottom of your mat, what you're going to need is your ball. And we're going to place our ball just between the shoulder blades. So shoulder blades are either side of the, the rib cage and either side of the spine. And we're going to take it on our right side. Okay, that's my left. So this is my right side. Okay, you take it on your right side. Or just remember which side that you do do. So as we come down, it's a little bit of trial and error as to where we want that ball. What we're gonna make sure is that we're in the squishy part and we're not on bone. Once we are there, interlace your hands and take your hands behind your head. And I'm just gonna let my body weight sink into that ball. And yes, I can feel almost a little tender spot where I am now. So the tender spots are what we're looking for. The tender spots are places that we want to be working on because it, it's an identification that we've got a tight spot here that needs opening. So what we're going to do to begin with is just rock towards the ball, towards the right, and then release back. And we're going to go again. So rocking to the right and then back. And just noticing how it feels. And if we're new to um, this type of massage, 
it may feel quite sensitive and the more you do it the more we get used to that feeling. From here what we're going to do is take the chest up slightly almost trying to take your head slightly back and I can only go a little bit and then chest forward so doing a very mini abdominal curl. We're just going to do two more of these and we're going to do one more it's the last one and then as you come up I just want you to roll to your left a little and adjust your ball so this time it's the top of your shoulder blade between your shoulder blade and between your spine so it's more up right at the top of that muscly part so this time if you can rest the opposite hand underneath your head and take your head down to the ground and just move around find that spot again yeah I'm in a good place and we're going to start to gently lift our right arm up and then over and just take it slow let the weight of your body sink into the ball we're going to go as far overhead as we possibly can again without flaring the ribs so we're making the movement come from the shoulder not the spine and then all the way down and we'll just do two more so you can you can pause the video you can do as many of these as you want to work on but we're just doing a short video today so that we can get a sense of um, how we can open up that area around our upper back around our shoulders and now we're going to start to circle the arm now if you're um, restricted for space make your circle smaller with your arm but you're aiming to try and keep your arm as close to the floor as you can so you're getting lots of opening across your chest if you prefer underneath your head to have a pillow or a rolled up towel feel free if you need to release the left arm down and then this time as we finish this circle we're going to go the opposite way around so we lift overhead circle out to the side and down so feeling the opening across the front of the shoulder maybe across the chest depending where we're the tightest and trying to just check into your spine so the pelvis is on the mat the rib cage is on the mat we've got space at the lower back so we're as close to neutral as we can okay and then when we come back to here we're just going to gently roll to our left release the ball and we're going to change to the other side so take the right hand behind the head and we're going to go at the lower portion first so that place at the bottom edge of the shoulder blade between the shoulder blade between the spine and just move around until you find that spot you'll know when you get there and again hands behind your head and we're just going to take a moment side to side breathe through it it's one of those almost love or hate things my fascia release so my own means muscle fascia is connective tissue so it's if you've ever been for a sports massage it's just it's exactly the same but you're doing it to yourself instead okay so this time backwards and forwards we're going to go up and over and then release definitely more sensitive on this side for me so I'm breathing a little bit more I'm focusing on relaxing areas that I don't need tension in and just two more and again it, you know your body you know how it feels so you can increase your movement your range of movement to make this um, a deep massage or you can release so that we don't have as much of an intense feeling okay so release the ball and this time we're going to take it to the top portion okay right hand stays behind the head and let the head release down to the ground once you've got the ball in the correct place so just supporting the head take a pillow or anything that you might need and then we're going to start when you're ready with an arm reach so floating the arms far up as you can and then down this definitely feels different for me on this side Although my right shoulder feels a little tighter, I think my neck is a little bit tighter on this side, which can also affect um, the mobility at your shoulder joint. 
So just one more arm raised, just checking into your breathing, core connection, the rib cage is it staying heavy on the mat. And then we're going to begin to circle. So we go out to the side. For me, about shoulder height is where I start to feel it, and then overhead. You go as slow as you need to. Sometimes the slower the better, especially if you've got any niggly parts or any parts that feel like a little nodule. Just trying to feel your upper back heavy into the mat. When the arm comes back down, we're going to go again. So we go opposite way, up first, and then around to the side, trying to feel that you're reaching the arm long, lengthening out the muscles, so lifting it up. So at the moment, the ball is on our trapezius muscle, the muscle that attaches from our neck, our cervical spine, our skull, onto our shoulder blades and rib cage. So when this arm comes back down, we're going to grab hold of the ball. I'm going to pop it to the side and just release your arms. Just take a gentle flow over. Definitely feel freer through the arms. And then we're going to come up again. So roll to the side and push yourself up. We're going to grab now our foam roller, our over ball or towel, whatever you have. And you're going to bring your weights to the side. Now as you come down, you want to line up your foam roller, your over ball or your towel across the back bottom rib. So just below, I'm just below the tips of my shoulder blades. Okay, we definitely don't want to be at the lower back because the lower back naturally arches forwards and we don't want to increase that lordotic curve. What we're trying to work on is the upper back. We're trying to open up the upper back and the thoracic spine. First, we're going to take hold of the hands back behind the head. Check that we've got that feeling of tailbone and sit bones heavy. Okay, the back of the pelvis towards the lower spine area will be off the mat, but we need to check that we're not arching through the lower back. We're staying in as neutral position as we can. Inhale, and we're going to start to reach the chest bone up to the ceiling, back towards the wall behind you. I'm keeping the back of my neck long so I'm reaching my crown of the head in the same direction I'm reaching my chest bone. This is where I start to get this opening across the front of my ribs, the front of my chest. Keep your head heavy so we're not pulling on the neck and you're just going to go as far as you feel you can. And then when you're ready to breathe out, we're going to lift the chest up. I'm using my upper abdominals to do the work so I'm gently sliding my front bottom ribs down towards my two pelvic bones. I'm gonna go again. So we're gonna do three more. In breath as you start to reach back, exhale to keep going. Inhale to pause, maybe go a little bit further if you feel you can. And then exhale to gently lift up. Now to be kinder to your shoulders, the elbows draw a little bit narrower. To get more of a stretch, but without a pinching, we definitely don't want any um, pins and needles sensation in your arms or your shoulder joint. It's an indication that something's getting trapped. We don't want that to happen. So feel free to narrow the elbows if that feels better for you. And just last one. We're starting to open up that thoracic spine, bringing it into some extension without arching the lower back. So the navel to spine and pelvic floor lift is going to help stabilize the lumbar spine and your pelvis. Now when you come up, nod your chin towards your chest and take hold of your weights, your hands, whatever you've got. So you're gonna reach your arms forwards. If supporting your head was better for you, stay with that or we're gonna use the weights to open up our shoulders a little bit more. So we're going to take an in-breath, we're going to start to reach the arms up, the chest bone and crown of the head back again. As we exhale, we're going to go back, we're going to reach the weights back, this is going to start to open the shoulders more. Keep the chin slightly towards the chest so I don't sink into my um, back of my neck. And you may find that the weights find the floor. For me, I'm going to try and aim to bring the crown of my head towards the ground. I'm going to start to nod my chin, lift my arms, nod my bottom ribs towards my pelvic bones. We're going to go again, so we lift up, inhale, exhale, reach, inhale, exhale, initiate, lift, so arms, chin, abdominals. 
and one more time so we go up and over you might feel that you want to stay here and that's absolutely fine and then we're going to lift now just pop in one of your weights down so I've popped my right weight down I'm going to grab hold of my left wrist and we're going to take my arms back over if you need support underneath the back of your head go for it I'm just going to roll up a little bit because my roll is rolled down I'm going to take my head down to the mat okay what I'm going to do is on my in breath reach my arms I'm gently pulling with my right hand on my left wrist to reach my arms longer and then exhale sink the back ribs into the into the roller and we're just going to do this one more time so inhale to reach can you stretch a little further exhale remember navel to spine try not to let your back arch I'm going to very gentle pubic bone towards the belly button now start to lift the arms so draw the shoulders down the back nod the chin towards the chest and come all the way up switch your weight to the other hand same on the other side so we inhale to lift exhale we go up and over let the head come to the ground if it can find it inhale reach through the arms exhale sink let the backs of the shoulders relax inhale reach last time and exhale very gentle pubic bone towards the belly button we don't want to feel this in our lower back and then lift your arms draw the shoulders down chin towards the chest and lift up pop the weight down and just take hold of behind the thighs you're gently going to walk your fingers up tip your pelvis backwards and then stretch your legs out and just take a counterbalance stretch so we're going to go into a little bit of flexion here and then rolling up take away your foam roller just make sure that all your equipment's out of the way and we're going to come down again so rolling down I want you to just let your spine roll onto the mat so automatically I've noticed that my rib cage, my shoulders can come down to the mat a little easier. What we're going to do is take that arm float up. So I'm reaching my arms up. Very easily find the floor without my rib cage coming off the mat. And we're going to test this again. So we're going to start to bend the elbows. I'm trying to keep my elbows, my forearms completely on the ground. I'm going to bring them as far to the sides as I can. Now I know generally I can't do this with my right arm. So that's a massive improvement for me. Now if uh, movement wise um, you've still not got the forearms on the ground it's a work in progress so we're going to be getting some opening but we may not be completely flat yet so this is something that we need to be doing quite often. So once you reach the arms up to the ceiling, lift the head and shoulders, just walk your feet forwards to make it easier to come up and then roll all the way up to sitting. Just take a seated position again. And just take a moment, roll the shoulders back and down and then forwards. And there we have it, our shoulder and our upper back release. Really. So hopefully we're sitting a little bit taller now. I certainly feel like I've grown an inch or two. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for future classes. Hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye.